Today we're going to be going through how to assemble and install the Cypher Auto 1000 series seats. Um, the one we'll be installing today is CPA 1013 PSDBK. Um, let's get started. box you're gonna have two boxes these are gonna be your sliders for left and right if you look on one of the on the boxes they have an L for left and an R for right so you know which one's which when you're putting them onto the seats Jeff one of the seat bottoms here other seat bottom. Filler box. One of the tops of the seats. The other back. And the bottom of the box. You have your hinge covers, your recliner mechanism covers. Has a couple little screws in here. Be careful not to lose anything when opening the package. Okay, so now I have everything laid out, the left and right hand sliders, and then this is all the hardware for both sets of seats. Um, for both sides that come both in the bag and in the box of the sliders. So all your hardware is here. Um, there are some hardware, there is some hardware that's already attached to the seat. There's one bolt on this side of the seat that you need to remove to install when you put it together. And then on the seat bottom, there are two bolts on this side that you're going to need to remo remove that attach the reclining mechanism to the bottom seat. So, let's get started. Okay, in some cases... Um, this seat's correct right now, but the hinge, uh, the reclining mechanism, may be stuck back, um, which will make things very difficult to install the two pieces. To, um, if, if that's the case, if you get it like this, all you need to do is pull the handle back, put a little pressure on the top of the seat, and push it back down to at least 90 degrees. So it locks into position at 90 degrees. That will make install a whole lot easier. Okay. So tools needed to assemble the seats. You're going to need a 3 8 inch ratchet, 17 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, a Phillips screwdriver, and then a 6 millimeter Allen head. It could be an Allen key. I'm using an Allen bit. Um, could be an Allen socket, whatever you choose. Alright, so let's get started. Let's get the hardware off that comes with the seat already pre-installed. Okay, it's one of the bolts. And you're done with that socket for now. So you get the the 13 millimeter socket to pull out these two bolts on the for the reclining mechanism. All right, there's one. This one's already loose. All right. So now we have our holes ready to go. So now let's get to. It's easier to if you lay it on its side. You need better access some of the parts. Just find the holes, line them up, and then you can put the bol the bolts you just removed and mount those in there.
Do not over tighten the bolt yet until you get both in into position. Just line up the hole so you can get the other bolt in there. Lost the hole. You just want to snug it up for now until you get the other side mounted. So you can flip the seat over. Same thing on this side. You'll get the bolt that you removed from this side. Line up the hole. And then you could put it in. Grab your 17 millimeter socket. Started. There it is. Now that you have all the bolts in, you can go ahead and torque the bolts down. They don't have to be too tight, just snug them up. Alright, go back to the other side. Again, grab your 13 millimeter socket and you can torque these bolts down. Again, don't have to be too tight, just enough to hold everything together. All right. Okay, now that we, since we already have this side on, we can go ahead and grab our Phillips screwdriver and take this handle off. Set both the handle and the screw off to the side, being sure not to lose anything. There's also a little, you'll have to pull back the lever just a little bit to access this screw back here. We're going to remove that little screw as well, because you'll need that to put this cover on the side to cover this mechanism. Alright, go ahead and set that over with the other part you just pulled out. Okay, you can grab your cover, the flat side goes on the bottom, um, slip the handle through the hole on the side, put everything together, just get everything to line up, okay, there we go, I'm going to line up the hole on the bottom first, so we can get that together. Again, pull back the, that, that lever just uh, just a little bit, not too far, so you can get this screw in there and get this cover mounted. Okay, don't tighten it too much. It's just a little cover; it doesn't really support anything. Now that you have the cover on, go ahead and grab your handle again. You can go ahead and put that back on. Um, it will need to slip into the plastic cover a little bit, so just get it in there. Line up the screw hole, and then put the screw you removed earlier back in there to secure the handle. Okay. Now this side is completely done. Let's go back to the other side, and there's a small cover for this side that comes in the package. Make sure you grab the right one. Now this is gonna, you'll pull back the fabric just a little bit, get the cover, slip it in, okay. All right. slip that in, then you'll line up the, there's a little screw hole in that bolt that you pulled out earlier. Okay, just, just 
snug up the bolt. You don't want to break this little cover. Just kind of cleans it up a little bit, makes it a nice install.